Inappropriate behavior, unwanted advances, and career promises used as leverage to control the women under his wing? Let's talk about Bombshell, a revealing look behind a major news network based on real-life events. Roger Ailes, the Fox News powerhouse, presided over a reign marked by fear and toxicity that Bombshell fearlessly portrays. But Ailes is not the main character here. The movie shines a light on the courageous actions of women brilliantly brought to life by Margot Robbie, Charlize Theron, and Nicole Kidman. Margot Robbie plays Caleb Popsicle, a character representing multiple women who accused Ailes of workplace harassment. Although similar to real-life conservative figures like Tommy Lauren, Kayla isn't modeled after any specific individual. She was created to protect the identities of those who spoke out but chose to remain anonymous due to their non-disclosure agreements. To grasp the movie, let's rewind to the real events. Everything started with Gretchen Carlson. Hi everyone, I'm Gretchen Carlson and this is The Real Story. The former Fox and Friends anchor, portrayed by Nicole Kidman. So back in July 2016, she shook things up big time. Carlson dropped a bombshell of her own, filing a sexual harassment lawsuit against Ailes, and boy, did it set things in motion. Ailes, the guy who's used to running the show and keeping folks quiet, was taken aback. He flat out denied the claims, and the network, well, they said they'd look into it, but stood by Ailes' side. Carlson accused him of wrecking her career for turning down his advances. She alleged that he cut her pay, gave her lousy time slots, and even blocked critical interviews, all because she stood up against his sexist behavior. When situations like that happen to women, you fear that it's gonna be your fault. You're not gonna be believed. You're gonna lose your job. You're gonna be that woman. You're gonna be that woman. You're a troublemaker, troublemaker, not a whistleblower. Exactly. According to her, one of the most chilling incidents happened in September 2015. That's when Carlson started recording her chats with Ailes. In the lawsuit, Carlson documented that in response to her efforts to end her discrimination, Ailes said, I think you and I should have had a sexual relationship a long time ago. Then you'd be good and better, and I'd be good and better. Carlson also accused a sexist culture at Fox, highlighting mistreatment by co-host Steve Ducey, who attempted to shush her on air. Fox acknowledged the allegations against Ailes and Ducey, launching an internal review while expressing continued confidence in both. Fox News settled with Gretchen Carlson, agreeing to pay her $20 million and issuing a public apology for the mistreatment she endured. After Gretchen's lawsuit against Roger, a string of other women stepped forward. They accused Ailes of past harassment, echoing Carlson's claims. On July 2016, Megyn Kelly, known for her strong voice at the network, disclosed to Paul Weiss investigators that she had faced sexual harassment from Ailes earlier in her career, too. He tried to kiss me. And then I pushed him away. He tried to kiss me again. I pushed him away again. He asked me when my contract was up. And then he tried to kiss me for the third time. Kelly stepped forward with additional allegations stating that Ailes had made non-consensual sexual advances towards her in 2006. He tried to kiss me three times, Kelly told George Stephanopoulos in an interview on Good Morning America. So I rejected that. And when I rejected that, he asked me when my contract was up. The events on screen, though, began in 2015, a year before the last presidential election. And while Roger Ailes takes center stage in the film, another figure steeped in allegations of sexual misconduct hovers, Donald Trump. As a Fox News host, Megyn Kelly grilled Trump during a presidential debate about his derogatory remarks towards women. She called out Trump's past statements, including calling women fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Trump responded with a quib aimed at Rosie O'Donnell, as reported by Time. Still in July, the big news hit. Roger Ailes, played by John Lithgow in the movie, stepped down from Fox News. And guess what? Despite all that noise, Murdoch himself gave Ailes a pat on the back and a statement while rumors flew about a hefty $40 million parting gift. You're gonna do whatever I tell you to do at any time. Do you understand that? The accusations never stopped coming, and one of the most disturbing ones to this day was reported on July 29th. Former Fox News booker Lori Lund says she was psychologically tortured by Ailes for two decades. She disclosed feeling harassed, intimidated, and coerced into performing sexual favors. I went through such hell for so many years. I finally felt safe when I saw that other women were speaking up, Lund told ABC News. Lund explained that Ailes initially offered her freelance research work, but it soon became evident he wanted more than her professional assistance. During one incident in Washington, D.C., Ailes requested Lund to view the speech and discuss it in his hotel room. However, the conversation took an unexpected and uncomfortable turn. 
Lund said that Ailes told her she needed training. She didn't know what that meant, but I was about to find out, she said. Lund recounted that Ailes instructed her to undress to her laundry and dance. Feeling intimidated and concerned about her job, she complied with his demand. He would have me get down on my knees and tell me, you're gonna do whatever I tell you to do at any time. Do you understand that, Lund said? And he explained that it was like the military, that if he gave an order, I was to follow through. Len said that Ailes then instructed her to do things, even worse things, and she was too stunned to refuse. He took photos as insurance for my loyalty, which felt like blackmail from the start. The night set a pattern for over 20 years. Even with the dozens of accusations and the evidence, some remained by Ailes' side regardless, like his wife Elizabeth. She stood by her husband throughout the lawsuit. New York Magazine reported that when Megyn Kelly declined to support Roger, Elizabeth suggested discrediting her by releasing racy photos from GQ Magazine. But the idea was rejected. Despite rumors of a possible divorce due to their separate living locations, Elizabeth supported him until his death in 2017. Another woman who stood by Roger despite the growing allegations allegations was Kimberly Guilfoyle. Reports said she used to pressure Fox employees into supporting allies. In earlier remarks, Nicole Kidman's portrayal and the film's script didn't sit well with Gretchen Carlson, who expressed dissatisfaction in a now-deleted tweet. However, Carlson later acknowledged her frustration about her lawsuit's limitations, preventing her from consulting on projects like Bombshell. Despite this, she appreciates the attention to the film that it brings to the cause of empowering women facing harassment and to speak up. And Megyn Kelly expressed unease with Charlize Theron's portrayal of her in the movie. Kelly found it odd to witness someone who looked so much like her acting as her on screen. While acknowledging the film's artistic liberties, Kelly highlighted inaccuracies. She criticized a scene portraying Margot Robbie's character seemingly blaming her for not speaking out earlier which Kelly described as victim blaming. Some of Roger's victims haven't worked in the TV industry ever since. Thanks for watching this episode of Binge Society. I'm your host, Sarah Maliski, and be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment letting us know what kind of movies you wanna see us uncover next. See you next time.